Nikola Tesla, a visionary inventor and pioneering electrical engineer, was born on July 10, 1856, in the village of Smilgen, which was then part of the Austrian Empire and is now located in modern-day Croatia. His exceptional intellect and curiosity became evident early in life, and he embarked on a remarkable journey that would shape the course of scientific history. Tesla's contributions to the development of alternating current AC electrical systems have left an indelible mark on the world revolutionizing the way electricity is generated, transmitted, and utilized. Tesla's early education in engineering and physics paved the way for his move to the United States in 1884, where he worked closely with the renowned inventor and business magnet Thomas Edison. However, their collaboration was short-lived due to differing views on electrical systems, particularly regarding the superiority of alternating current over direct current. This marked the beginning of Tesla's independent endeavors, and he soon patented numerous inventions related to electrical power and electromagnetism. Perhaps Tesla's most enduring legacy is his role in the War of Currents, a fierce competition between proponents of AC and DC electrical systems. Tesla's AC system, backed by George Westinghouse, eventually triumphed, proving more efficient in transmitting electricity over long distances. This success laid the groundwork for the widespread adoption of AC power fundamentally transforming the way society harnessed and distributed the electrical energy. Beyond his practical inventions, Tesla's mind was a wellspring of theoretical ideas that often transcended the technological limitations of his time. His visionary concepts included wireless communication, renewable energy sources, and the wireless transmission of power. Despite facing financial challenges and, at times, personal setbacks, Tesla remained dedicated to advancing scientific knowledge for the betterment of humanity. In his later years, Tesla's eccentricities and the orthodox ideas led to periods of relative obscurity, but his contributions to science and technology have garnered increased recognition. In the decades following his death on January 7, 1943, today, Nikola Tesla celebrated as a trailblazer in electrical engineering, and his legacy continues to inspire scientists, inventors, and enthusiasts around the world. The present is there is the future, for which I really worked, is mine. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. The last 29 days of the month are the toughest. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one and think deeply and be quite insane. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one and think deeply 
and be quite insane. The human being is a self-propelled automaton, entirely under the control of external influences, willful and predetermined though they appear. His actions are governed not from within, but from without. He is like a float tossed about by the waves of a turbulent sea. The individual is ephemeral. Races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one and think deeply and be quite insane. Of all things, I liked books best. The spread of civilization may be likened to a fire. First, a feeble spark. Next, a flickering flame. Then a mighty blaze, ever increasing in speed and power. The mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and uninterrupted solitude. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. The present is there as the future for which I really worked. His mind, our virtues, and our failings are inseparable. Like force and matter, when they separate, man is no more. The individual is supreme and finds the way through intuition. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. The scientists from Franklin to Morse were clear thinkers and did not produce erroneous theories the scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one, and think deeply, and be quite insane. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world. The harnessing of human nature to human needs most Certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are, and among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune to this great power. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. The future will show whether my foresight is as accurate now as it has proved heretofore. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. The world is not ready for some people when they show up. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Life as an will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter for the future. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Fights between individuals as well as governments and nations invariably result from misunderstandings in the broadest interpretation of this term. Misunderstandings are always caused by the inability of appreciating one another's point of view. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, 
all the more triumphantly from the struggle. The idea of atomic energy is illusionary, but it has taken so powerful a hold on the minds that although I have preached against it for twenty-five years, there are still some who believe it to be realizable. It is paradoxical, yet true, to say that the more we know, the more inert we become in the absolute sense, for it is only through enlightenment that we become conscious of our limitations. User gave me five paragraph intro of Nikola Tesla, Nikola Tesla, a visionary inventor and pioneer.